We have some great RV gift ideas for you. And the focus is on safety. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and you will live amazing with these amazing RV gifts. And the focus is on safety because we know with personal experience how important it is to be safety conscious. Um, if you don't know, we are full-time RVers. We've been on the road for three years and we've had a couple incidences. So some of the safety gifts that we talk about, we, um, we bought because of these incidents. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are a direct, direct result in, um, from something that we did or something mostly I did. And every product that we talk about, we own except for one. We're actually ask, gonna ask you guys to recommend something for us. We're gonna go from high to low in price point and um, let's get started. All right. Well, I don't think we can talk about safety without talking about RV driving school. Now, you know, this country, you can buy an RV and drive off with it. And you don't have to have any training at all. And we hear about accidents every day. So we highly recommend RV driving school. And we have a video about that. We, we did the school a couple months back in, uh, when we were in the Nashville area. And, uh, but they do the school anywhere in the country. So it's not just in Nashville. And we have a special discount for you, so make sure you use the link in the description. In fact, links to everything will be in the description. We should also mention that we are going to give you some Amazon links for some products. You won't pay any extra for Amazon, but you do help us out a little bit and help keep the lights on for us. So yeah, thank they, you for using those links. Yep. So the next one is RV security cameras. You think about how vulnerable your RV is, even if you're not full-time, all the valuables you have in there. And we are a big believer in that. You may know we've had a couple thefts and we have a really great system. It's a wired camera system. We went wired because we can't always be sure that we're gonna have internet. The wireless don't work without internet. Now think about cameras and how much they protect. For example, going into a bank. You know this already, of course, if you have a ring camera, how important they are in deterring theft. Any government facility nowadays is you're on camera all the time whenever you're in one of those, in a, like Liz said, in a bank, pretty much everywhere. You go in public, you're, you're on camera these days. We've had our security system for about four months, right? Mm -hmm. And we can already see the difference. We feel good about knowing that we have a record of everything. And it's by Super Circuits, and we actually have 15% off. So we have a video with more details about the camera system, or just go right over to Super Circuits because they will build a custom system just for you and your trailer. They'll walk you through the whole process. And I said trailer, but they'll do it for your motor home. Home. I and mean, your, your regular home too, yeah. business. Yeah, yeah. Yep. they're great people. The next item on the list is TPMS, a tire pressure monitoring system. We actually had a flat tire that we didn't know about. We didn't have a blowout, but we did have a flat and it was, and we had just gone over the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco when, when we pulled into a gas station uh, to fuel up and uh, you came over and said we also have a flat tire what yes so oh. if there's air here we've got to we have a oh, we have a flat no. tire and for a while there's mud all around it it's, oh, that could have been a really dicey situation i was one of these guys that, that i said i don't need i don't need tpms on the trailer I, every time i we're going to go somewhere i check the tires well, we did that day too, the day of the flat, and I didn't know I had a flat until we got to the gas station. And we had done a walk around about an hour and a half, hour and a half earlier. Yeah, we stopped. The TPMS will give you such peace of mind, particularly if you're driving a big Class A or pulling a big trailer, you just don't want to risk that. And it can warn you of a blowout. What a lot of people don't understand is that there is a warning for many blowouts and usually it's under inflation. So under inflation which causes heat which causes tre uh, tread separation and then you know that that can be catastrophic. We use TST truck systems TPMS and it is great. You can get it just for your trailer or you can also include right. your, your truck or if yeah. you're a class A you can also include your towed the vehicle you're pulling behind your class A. Most new vehicles if you've bought a truck in the last 
10 years, you probably have TPMS on it. The system that we have through TST does cover our truck because it has an alarm, so we're not having to check or look at anything. Right, yeah, we've got all eight, in our case, eight tires plus spares. There are a lot of TPMS systems out there. TST truck is the best, and we also have a link for you that will save you some money. Well, if you've been watching us for any time at all, you probably know we had a little gas station incident where we took out a gas pump and ripped the corner back corner off of our rig. Now, we had a backup camera and we still have it. And in fact, people commented on that video, well, the backup camera would help you. Well, Paul isn't used to looking at it and I think he's getting well, more not, and more. Not when I'm going forward, I don't look at it. I usually use it when I'm backing up. Mm -hmm. I look at it all the time. When I'm driving and I'm overtaking a vehicle, I look at it to make sure it's safe for me to get back in the lane. And of course, you know, I use it for when we back into a site. But that backup camera, I think, is a huge safety factor. And I do think at the gas station, that would have helped you. If I'd have looked, if I'd have been thinking about, you know, tail swing, and that's what that's what got me, is it, it I, I got too close to the pump and tried to make a, a hard U-turn, and the back of the trailer came around and took the, uh, took the gas pump. Yeah, we use a Furion backup camera. It's a great system. It costs about $400, and again, there's a link in the description. You're gonna need something to put air in your tires, and there's a lot of air compressors on the market but the one I like is from one of my favorite stores, Harbor Freight. So here's the, the Fortress air compressor that I use. And this thing is unbelievably quiet. Our tires are rated, they're supposed to be 110. So I needed a compressor that had a higher capacity. And okay, so I gotta let some air out to get it to go. That part's loud. So. You can still, you can probably still hear us talking over this thing running. If, if, I'd, have, if I'd have been doing this with the, my old air compressor, I'd have to be screaming for you to hear me. I mean, you're aware of it, but it's not, it's one of the quietest ones. Put it on the floor. It may, may be quieter on the floor because it's got the, uh, the rubber feet. Yeah, let's try it again. It's yeah. loud, but it's not loud like a typical air compressor. It's way quieter than like a air, like a blow dryer. It's a lot quieter than my blow dryer. Yeah, yeah, it is. Now you're going to also want safety cones. The ones we have actually collapse into a flat square. So you keep them under the back seat of the truck. You want to put them out whenever, if you break down, of course. You can also use them. Uh, for backing practice. When you get to a campground, particularly if you're solo, we see people do this, it's such a smart idea. Just put two cones out, sort of as your target, you know, in the campground so you know where you're headed. It can be really helpful using your backup camera to look through, see the cones and line up. We use them in rest stops, especially if we're gonna put a slide out because you don't want somebody to come around the corner and, and take your slide off. When we are in rest stops where you usually are parked between trucks, you know, big, you know, 18 wheeler trucks. Mm -hmm. So we are very careful to mark our corners yep. just so that we can be seen, uh, you know, the step, steps are down or that kind of thing. Yep. This is a road flare. Everybody needs these. Um, I just absolutely love all the features. This has a magnet and a hook, but look how bright this is in the daylight. Imagine using that at night. It's got like six different settings and you want to set that out if you have to be on the side of the road. It also even has like a little uh, flashlight on it. These are three for $20. You can get a pack of them. We only have one and I think we need more, particularly if you drive at night. Now we tend to not drive at night. In fact, we have a video <laughs> about that. This has actually been sitting in our glove box for a year and a half. We had a friend give it to us. If I broke down on the on the highway and I was going to change a tire or something, I would use this in conjunction with the um, the cones. Yeah, I think you need at least three, if not four. Yeah. Of course you're going to need a flashlight. And I got this one when I left on my journey in 2018, October of 2018, and it's still as good as it was the day I bought it. And I like some of the features about this. I mean, of course, it's, it's a flashlight. It's... Um, it's got two levels of, of, of light for that. The, the head will, do, will hinge 
It's got a magnetic base. We don't have anything steel uh, metal in here that I can stick it to. And then besides all that, it does that. Whoa, that is so bright. It's just Be ready, put your sunglasses on, go. <laughs> So this is not your typical flashlight. Um, Paul got it from Harbor Freight three years ago. It's gotten almost daily use yep. and it still works great. Yep. We love that it's rechargeable and it has yeah, a magnet. You just plug it into a uh, um, USB port. But, uh, What's this yellow thing? Oh, it, oh, it, oh, it hangs, yes. Oh, so nice. Yep, so if you wanted to have a light, you could do that and hang it somewhere. It's relatively inexpensive. I think it's around $13 from Harbor Freight. Here's the item that we need you guys to, to recommend for us. We have an old dash cam, but it's it's seen better days and we need we need it we need one. So let us know in the comment section what dash cam do you use um, and and we'll check them out and, and we'll end up buying one, I'm sure. They are so useful. We're used to having one because you never know what's gonna happen while you're driving. Maybe someone will slip around you and then suddenly get in front of you and slam the brakes or cut you off. It is so important for safety to have that video record of what's going on out there because there's been some crazy stuff out there. So if you are looking for a dash cam, just scroll through the comments to see recommendations from your fellow A-Team members. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're wishing you a great holiday season and thanks for watching. Be safe. All right, we're done. Good job. Yep, we're all done. All oh, right. Wait, 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 wait. Have you had that in your hand the whole time? I have, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And why? Can I make hash browns now? <laughs> Anytime. I love your hash browns. <laughs> <laughs>